<laughs> what is up, guys? It's Warrior, and we are back with another episode of Hollow Knight. Um, I know it has been a few days since the last episode, and that's just because I've been super crazy busy. And I know that's not a good excuse, but, you know, I have a life. So anyway, we're back. We're going to finish exploring this first area that we are in, and maybe even unlock a few new abilities. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. Oh man, I love this game. Alright, so, I see where we haven't been yet, so let's just head straight for that direction. Uh, we didn't explore the top right corner or the very middle yet, so that's what we're going to do. I did not mean to pull out the whole map. So yeah, let's go for it. Already been inside of that temple there. Oh man, I can never get over how beautiful this game is, and the music too. So great. By the way, if any of you guys are watching this and you haven't played Hollow Knight, I will tell you, just please, just get the game. It's so good. Just get the game. <laughs> I mean, on Steam it's only 15 bucks. I think it might be 20 bucks on console, but still, it is so worth it. It is such a good game. And then, yeah, I think this is where we haven't quite been yet. I think this is just a little mini boss, if I remember correctly. And not even a boss, it's just kind of an enemy. Oh gosh. I remember when I first played this game, I thought this was so hard. I died multiple times. It's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Look at that. Didn't even take a hit. And there's another grub. Alright. Let's keep on heading down. I forget. Did we buy the stag station? Get. I don't think we quite did, so let's check that out. Um, I think over there is Crystal Peak, if I remember. I don't think this is where we want to head quite yet. Yeah, no. We're not heading over there yet. That's an area we can get to later in the game. Then I think we just gotta go down. And I don't know. Let's just explore. I'm so rusty. It's been quite a while, as you guys know, since I've last played this game. Okay, yeah, this is the dark room. We do not want to go there yet. Um, Alright. So before we go fight the main boss this area, we should unlock the stag station really quickly. I think I have enough geo. Let me check. And we'll unlock the stag station in Dirt Mouth as well, by doing so. Oh, because the only way to unlock the stag station in Dirt Mouth is to unlock a different stag station and go there. So let's see. I hope 80 geo is enough. I guess I'll have to wait and see, though. Alright. Perfect. Just now we got the map all marked up. 50. Okay, sweet. So we got enough. And this is going to be the first stag station to unlock. Um, stag stations are actually really important in this game because what they do... Well, it's just a quick travel, so... Stag's going to come along here. And I'm just going to listen to him. Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of a station bell. It echoed down the stagways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years, and I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch the depths of Hollow Nest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform. I will take you where you need to go. So yeah, this is quick travel. We'll find this in pretty much any main area in the game that we go to, so it's going to be pretty useful. Anyway, this one took us to Dirt Mount, so I'm going to just unlock this really quickly so we can use it later if we need to, but we're going to head straight back. We're not even going to go out there. So yeah, now the one in Dirt Mouth is open. Oh, Let's go back. If I remember correctly, there's a total of like 15 or 13 stag stations. I don't remember the exact amount, but it's a pretty good amount. I mean, this game is pretty massive. On my other profile from the first time I beat this game, I had the whole thing unlocked, and it was just pretty, pretty cool to see how big the game was. It's, it's a big game, though. Anyway. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to be going up. Oops. Let's head on up to the first actual, like, difficult boss. I mean, it's not even that hard from what I remember, but when I first played it, I thought it was super hard. Alright, it's right in here. And then also, after defeating this boss, I think we're gonna get our first ability. Okay, we got one of these guys again. Oh, he hit me. Whatever. Is 
there anything up here? Or is that just a way to jump over him? I think not I can tell. Oh. Hmm. Very interesting. And okay, I see. That we need the super dash for that. That's something we'll get later. For now we cannot go there. So let's just remember that for later. I forget what's up there. That's something we want though, and something that's good. Can't really get a peek though, unfortunately. Alright. Oh, maybe we can check it if we head back to the right. Let's see, nope. No way back, so I guess it's just supposed to be a one-way deal. Or we can wall jump up there, we don't have that. Alright. This doesn't look weird at all. Oh, let me just heal real quick. And there it is. False knight. First boss of this game. The first, like, actual boss. I mean, obviously, we fought the mini bosses, but this guy's the real deal. And there it is. Never mind, he's not the real deal. He's easy. <laughs> so he has little phases where we fight him, and then we actually get to get real hits on him and gather soul. And then he goes back to this again. Alright, then we just gotta dodge these things. I'm pretty sure we can. Second phase done. Oh, this is great. I remember when I used to think this was so hard. And now it's just like so easy. Alright, right, the whole place is starting to fall apart now. Perfect. Am I even do this without getting hit? No way. City Crest. Sweet. And fast sacks of geo. Oh, what the heck just happened? My audio is being weird now. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. Sorry about that, guys. Something happened with my audio. I didn't know what it was. Uh, I forget if there's anything back up. We should just go check really quick. Oh wait, the floor gave out, so we can't check. Marvelous. Alright, I don't think there's anything up there, honestly. So we're good. And if there is, we can just come back to the wall jump once we unlock that. Alright. Alright, now we gotta go up here. Sweet. So, yeah. You guys will see what this is in just a second. I don't want to spoil too much. As you can see, all these torches and skulls around. This is definitely an interesting place. Let's go ahead and head on in. Sit on the bench and talk to this creepy looking dude. Right, here's the map. Sweet. So we got this whole place explored now. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. No, 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 oh, no. who's creeping out of the darkness? Meyer looking grim. Strange empty face and a wicked looking weapon. Something important has drawn you down in a hollow nest corpse, but I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you found me is because you needed my help. Say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift. A nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for the little one like you. <laughs> and so he's going to make us our first spell in the game. We are going to get more spells throughout the game. This is the first one. What happens here is pretty interesting. Poof. There it is. Alright. I consume the vengeful spirit. Tap B to unleash the spirit and spells will deplete soul. So yeah. It's the same kind of thing where we hold B to heal, but this time it is a new attack. And then if we could wake up. 
Let's talk to this jerk. Oh, uh -huh, you've woken at last. I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but you seem to have slipped away from myself. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, it's not creepy. Now we're awake. I was wondering whether you'd do me a small favor. Not as a payment for my gift, of course, simply because we're now friends. <laughs> you see, a horrid great beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I would be quite grateful if you were to venture deeper in its slate for me. It's hardly a creature, but with your new power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with the small favor, my friend. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So basically what he's saying is, huh? Now you cannot get out until you kill this guy, so we gotta go in there and kill this beast that he's talking about. So let's just go get that done so we can leave. That's the ventral sphere right there. It just sends out a quick attack. That's what it looks like. It does, I think, either double or triple the damage over nails, so it's pretty decent attack. So we're definitely gonna be using it a lot in combat, and it's good for ranged fights too. Um, lots of fights will need to have some actual ranged attacks. You can't just fight straight up from up close, so it's going to be a useful asset. Alright. Let's check out this room full of spikes. Oh, you jerk face. Oh, oh, don't fall. I thought I pushed jump there, but apparently not. Alright. Kill you, kill you. Alright, do I want to go down or left? I'm gonna guess that there's, yeah, other stuff left. Wait, I didn't even need that, that's just extra soul. Alright, let's keep checking it out. I don't even need to kill all these guys. Looks like there's something up there. Alright. Lots of Geo, let's go. That's the extra Geo. We want all the money we can get, because I want to go to their map and get all of those extra mapping supplies from Iselda, I think her name was, the mapper's wife. Anyway, here's the beast dude was talking about. And basically, what you can see is if we come up close, we can't hit him, we have to use the eventual spirit on him. And then he has these attacks, and the way we get more souls is that every once in a while he'll spit out a little one of his babies instead of spitting out um, one of those balls of, uh, what's it called? One of those balls of... Why am I drawing a blank? Of acid, oh my gosh. Sorry, I can't speak. Alright, let's listen to this guy. No, 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 oh, no, no, so no. it's done then. You've slain the beast. The poor thing, it must have been terrified of you. It used to be quite docile. But the rancid air in these caverns filled it with an ancient rage. Still, you did what had to be done. You have my gratitude. Of course, we both know you wouldn't have made it through without that spell of mine. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Alright, that definitely makes me feel better. And look, the gate between us is open. Oh, ho, ho. I'm sure you're going to move on for a while and have faith. Whatever you're seeking, it will find you. Alright, creepo. So yeah, let's take a seat on the bench. Save our progress, and then we can actually move on from this area now. We've got it fully explored, and we've gotten the ability inside of the area. So, yeah, let's do that. Oh, actually... Eh, it's fine. We'll find a bench soon, because I did get another charm, and I do want to equip that. But it's fine. So let's just head out here. Um, really quick, before we go to the next area, we should head up to Dirtmouth to uh, put on that new charm and get our, the last of our mapping supplies, and then we can move on to the next area. already moving on from the first area. It's crazy. I remember the first time I played this game, this took me a while, because I had no idea what I was doing. Because uh, the thing about this game is, even though it has a general story and direction you need to go, it's not exactly like 100% one set pass. So, I mean, everything's sort of the same word, but you can kind of explore it in your own way. You know what I mean? So, that's why I think I'm doing a lot quicker now that I know what to do, and also, um, I'm playing it differently now. Anyway. Let's go in here and buy the rest of our map. <sighs> she always says that. Right, we want that. We want the vendors. We want stag stations. We want the hot tubs. And then that'll be everything. I don't really use the custom pins that much anyway. That's all they are. They just, you can put them wherever you want. So we're good. So let's hit the bench. Put on our new charm real quickly. Soul catcher. Draw more soul from the world around him. So basically, when I hit an enemy, I get more soul. So yeah. Now we can move on to the next area. I think really quick though, before we move on, we should stop and say hi to uh, Mr. Da Daddy Worm because he should have some more gifts from us for us. Sorry. Now that we have saved some more worms, so we should go check that out. 
Give me some money. Give me something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Anything Whee. else? Yeah, that's right. That's it. 50 Geo. Alright, bro. I'll save more worms and I'll be back, my friend. Alright, now we're gonna go down and left. Alright, this is where we're heading next. This is gonna take us to the next area of the game that we need to head to. Let's read this. The Pilgrim's Way. Travelers of Hollow Nest descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. There, all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. So, we're heading towards pretty much the heart of Hollow Nest, the city of Hollow Nest. And before we couldn't get through because obviously this guy was blocking the path, we didn't have the spell. So that's how they set up that little gate there. It's actually pretty neat. Alright. Perfect. So now we can get through. Can't get up there. Alright. Heading on in. Next area of the game. And I actually really like this area. The music and the art style and everything of it's just great. It is Green Path, of course, that I'm talking about. Um, yeah, this is a good area. And we meet one of the most important characters of the game here, actually. So we'll meet her soon. You'll see what I mean. But yeah, the music here is great, the enemies are cool, it's green and luscious as a pair compared to the last area that we were in, which was quite dark, which I didn't mind, I mean, it was still cool and beautiful and all, but this is just a nice little break, I guess, because a lot of the game is kind of like that, you know, dark and gloomy, so it's nice to have little areas like this in between too that are just beautiful. Oh, I forget what's down there. No. Well, not yet, at least. Let's check. Jerk, and when you kill him, he blows up again. Alright. I forget which way we want to go, but I'm just going to explore like it's my first time. Might as well. These guys are jerks, and they try to catch you in a trap. They actually give you quite a bit of geos, so I don't mind them. Alright. I fear what those enemies are called. Something trap or something or other. But, uh, yeah, alright. Moving on. This area is pretty straightforward so far, though. Man, I haven't explored this game in so long. Alright, let's check the bench. Okay, map updated, even though we don't have a map of this area yet. We need to get that done. Where is Cornifer? Cornifer! I want a map! Alright, all the Geo is mine. I hate how it bounces everywhere, man. Just give it to me. Oh, that's one thing we need to do. Once we find the stag station here, we should go back to Dormouth and buy that charm that collects the Geo for us. Because it's just annoying to have to... Oh, there she is. That's somebody. Anyways, it's annoying to always have to collect the Geo from off the floor and stuff. I wish that it would automatically collect it for you, but there's a charm that does that, so we will buy that eventually. And then here's a new enemy. So we will find a couple new enemies in this area. Or more than a couple, actually. The variety of enemies in this game is actually one of the things that makes it so good. It's not just the same old, same old. Like, everyone loves Mario games and everything, but I mean, you must admit, jumping on Goombas the whole entire game can get a little bit stale. This game never gets stale with the enemies. They're always getting harder and more complex and different. So, And they each fit the atmosphere of their area. It's really, really neat. Alright, nothing over here. Does this wall break at all? Nope. Alright, then we're good to keep going. Where are we going? And hopefully we'll find Mr. Cornifer soon to make us a map. Because I really... I don't know what it is. I'm one of those guys that, like, checks his map every two seconds, though. I know some people find that annoying, but... I like to know where I'm going and what direction I'm going in. So, I really do prefer to have a map in games like this. Now there are some games that don't have maps that are huge to explore like this, and I'm just like, man, that's crazy. How can you have such a huge game and not have a map? But that's why I like this game. The maps are pretty good in this game. Alright. I think if I pogo off this guy, I can actually get up there. Line yourself up. Come over this way, please. 
Just make a little skip here, maybe. Nope, it's not gonna happen. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm trying to pout off him when I can literally just... Alright. Well, we can go get a map. Please give me a map. Isn't this a contrast from the crossroads? <laughs> As I was just saying. Such a humid, lively place. The roads twist and turn in the most wonderful ways. I've done my best to chart the area ahead, though I must admit some of the area's inhabitants proved quite a nuisance. I will buy it. And I will look. Alright, sweet. So, it looks like we want to head down. For sure. So let's do that. I feel like that's the only way we can go, actually. So, yeah, of course we're going to head down. What am I saying? Just over here. Oh, wait. I should have gotten that shortcut really quick. I'm going to do that. Because one thing that's annoying about this game is if you don't get your shortcuts, then later on it's just really annoying to get around the game. So, that annoys me a lot. But I'm going to get all my shortcuts right now. Well, it's easy. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing I actually love about this game, though, is that even though the world's so big, as you go back to um, go to new eras, you'll find shortcuts back to old areas. Because there is actually quite a lot of backtracking in this game. So, yeah, I'm really glad they have that going on because it makes it much easier. Alright. Let's check out this spot over here. Okay, then. Take a chill pill. <laughs> Let's listen. Let's Tiny squid, you approach fearless. Are you a hunter like me? Do you feel the urgent side to stalk, to kill, to understand? Then take it, my journal. It will aid you. At first, the text may seem difficult to discern, but a learned hunter will come to understand its words. Venture to the depths of this land and slay its beasts. Prove yourself worthy to bear the mark of the hunter. So he's giving me this hunter's journal here. And pretty much what happens is every time I kill something, it goes in there. So you open the menu, navigate to the journal, defeat enemies to add new entries. So yeah, it's pretty neat. I don't know if there's any in there right now. Yeah, everything I killed is already in there, so. There are a lot of enemies. Like, I'll show you. This is all I've done so far, but there is definitely a lot more. I think there's a hundred something or other. But yeah, and you have to kill quite a few of them to uh, get the notes from the hunter. But like, this one says, don't pathetic hardly with killing. They're all kind of interesting. Anyway, we're going to keep moving on, but it's a nice little touch. And if you do kill everything, he gives you the mark of the hunter like he just said there. So yeah, let's head down. That was close. What's up, worm? Sweet. Okay, this guy is going to kill me if I'm not smart. Or he's going to get me in the ass that I mean. Ah, that was smart. Alright. Anything up here? Nope. All that soul. Um, I don't think there's anything around here we need. Oh, Geo, never mind. We definitely need all the Geo we can get. Okay. Let's just go ahead and head this way. Oh! Gosh, that scared me. I don't know why. There she is. Okay, so she went left, so clearly down is not the way to go, and that is why I'm going to go down. I know that sounds dumb, but I like to explore the ways that you don't explore first, if that makes sense, I guess, because if you explore the way you're supposed to go first, then you miss out on secrets, you know? Oh man, this looks like a huge area, though. I don't know if I want to do that anymore. Um, let me just see what's to the left really quickly up here. Maybe I do want to go left. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out real quick. <laughs> maybe that's just... Maybe that's the way that you're supposed to go and I was taking the not shortcut. Or not the secret way, rather. Okay, come here, bush. Or maybe I'm just overthinking it like I do with a lot of things. But anyway, let's head over here. Oh, Geo. Let me guess, booby trap? Yep. Stack of G right here. So let's get that. Perfect. Head on up here. Alright, what do we got here? Okay, this might be the way we're supposed to go, but it's fine. I'm sure we'll go the other way eventually. And okay then. Got him. That scared me a little bit. I wasn't expecting that. If I'm gonna be honest. Oh gosh, really? Did I just get damaged by one of those? Oh, that's embarrassing. Alright. Let's keep 
going. Yeah, I know. Jump scare. Wow. So scary. Alright. Oh my gosh. I hate you. Oh, I don't have enough soul. Why you jerk? Yo, can I hit that? Alright, let's keep going. There she is. Let's chase her down, boys. There's something down there and I cannot get it yet. Alrighty then. She's going up. Can I follow her is the question. Because I know I definitely want to go to where she's going. If I do remember correctly. Which I'm pretty sure I do. Alright, come here, Hornet. Come here, Hornet. I love how I'm just like not exploring this area at all. And there's probably all kinds of like secrets and stuff. No, or not. I don't see anything. Let's just keep on going then. And we have to pay. 50? That's not bad. Let's go. We got a bench. We can check out the map real quick. What does it look like? Okay, yeah, so... Let me see how much time we have left in the episode. Two minutes? Okay. I think... We're just gonna keep heading up. Might as well. We only got a couple minutes left until we hit our 30 minute mark, but if I need to go a little bit over, I will, just to finish up what we're doing. Because we are about to get something pretty important here in just a second, so I might just finish it out. Let's see. Get all that geo. Oh man, this area has been filled with geo though, my goodness. What is up here? Yeah, that false wall there, for some reason, I don't know why, I just remembered it was there. Like, I guess after playing the game, it's easy to remember. Oh, subtle things like that. No! It took me so far down. It just ingrained in my brain, like that little spot there. I don't know what it was, but I just remembered it. Okay, let's not fall like that again, please. Alright, what's over here? Okay, what? What is this? Oops. And I fell. This looks like the Forgotten Crossroads, but it's not. It's a green path. Ah. Oh, wow, you got me. I must say, you definitely baited me with those geos. Or with that geo. You definitely baited me. My goodness. Alright. What is over here? Why am I drawing a complete... Oh, it connects to the other side. It's where I first saw want to go up. So I don't think we want to go this way quite yet. Because... Yeah, we'll come back here later. Because this is going to be the quickest way back after what happens, I'm pretty sure. I could be totally wrong and wasting time, but... Eh. What does it really matter, anyway? We're just exploring and having fun, you know? Alright. Is there actually any way back up? Please tell me there is. Because otherwise I'm going to have to do some crazy amount of... Okay, never mind. There's a way back up. Okay, thank you. If there wasn't, that was about to be pretty annoying. Alright. Let's just keep on going up, I suppose. Alright, it's been about 30 minutes, but this episode's going to be... Oh, that's so annoying. This episode's going to be a little bit long. That's alright, though. I won't go past 40. Alright, let's get back up. So annoying that I fell all the way down. My goodness. Yeah. Alright. And then... What's up here? A sign. The greater mind once dreamed of leaf and cast these caverns so in every breath and bush, every vine, the mind of Unra seals itself to us. That didn't rhyme at all, but okay. Um, what's over here? Oh, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? And he's dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, forgetting what's over here, but might as well just check it out real quick. Alright. What is up here? What do we got? Hmm. This is looking like the Forgotten Crossroads for some reason. This is 
not look like green path at all. Wow, cornered me. Is this like a connection to Forgotten Crossroads? Or no? Like what's over here? This is not the Forgotten Crossroads. What is this? Oops. What is this area? It seems like the start of the game almost. Probably is. Like where we started at first. The heck? Let's see here. Man, I might go over by a lot. <sighs> Big oof. Oh my gosh. That's all there is, is Jim. Hmm. This is strange. I do not recall what this place is for some reason. Like, I distinctly remember most of this game, but I... Okay, I can't go there. Alright. I have to have a certain ability to do that, so... There's a wall there for a reason. Let's head back. We can get this later. Um, that was interesting, though. I think I know what that is, though, now that I'm remembering a bit. And I think I know what this is, too, now, if I do remember. Yep. All right. Let's let's dance. Oh, you! Oh my lucky! Come at me, bro. Oh, it's like the mom of these things, huh? <laughs> what a pushover, dude. Way too easy. All right. What's up? He dead? Okay. Oh, never mind. He's not. Just what do you think you're doing? You here to come between me and my prey? Is it a habit of yours to scurry about getting in the way and causing bother? Know this, Kerr. I am Zilt the Mighty, a knight of great renown. Cross me again and you'll find out why they call my weapon wife then. Okay, buddy. Uh, I think I kind of saved you there, so... I guess whatever you say, man. Alright, we're back here. So... This episode's gonna be a little long. You know what? I wanna finish. I want to finish this little section real quick. And look at all this geo. Oh my gosh. Dude, I swear that soul thing isn't working. Like, I'm not getting any more soul from the enemies I kill. Or at least it doesn't seem like it. it seems like the same amount. I don't know. Are you guys noticing that? Like, I equip that charm that's supposed to make me get more soul when I strike enemies, but I'm not getting more. Anyway, let's head in here. This will be the end of the episode. Well, as soon as we find a bench. Hopefully there's one over here. Alright. We're gonna fight another boss. What's up, Hornet? Come no closer, ghost. I've seen you creeping this undergrowth, stro stalking me. This old kingdom, a terrible thing awakes. I can smell it in the air. I know what you are. I know what you try to do. I can't allow it. So apparently she knows something about us. I don't know what her problem is. Already absolutely clapping her. I don't remember her being this easy. Oh my gosh, and then she gets a quick hit on me. I remember her being much harder. I must have just been bad. If I remember correctly, though, she does not give you any time to heal. Which is one thing that was tough for sure. And she's almost dead, I think. Yep, there it is. That was pretty quick, dang. Alright, what's up? And she gonna run away? Alright, here we go, baby. The Mothwing Cloak. Press RT to dash forwards. Yes, I love this. Now, this is the dash. This is where you start to get some more schmoves in this game. The game starts to open up a bit. I love this. Yo, can, can the gates open, please? Is this a glitch or something? Okay, thank you. Would it seek to break the seals? They cannot be undone. They must be undone. Let us sleep, little shadow. Return to your darkness. Allow us our peace. Okay, then. Ah, uh, what just happened? No, I know exactly what happened. But you guys will not know for a while. <laughs> Once you've already played this game, 
But yeah, basically those three beings we saw there aren't just random. We will be seeing them again. They're actually very important in this game. So yeah, we can dash now. Is the gist of this right here. So yeah, it's good stuff. I forget what's this way, but hopefully it's a bench. Please be a bench. Please. Please. Yes, it is a bench. Alright, we're going to sit in here and be done. We will talk to this guy next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry it's a bit of a longer episode. Um, but if you guys are enjoying the series, do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And also, just a heads up, I am going to be going on a trip for six days, so I will not be uploading for about a week. Sorry about that, guys. I know I just got back to doing videos and all that, but I'm sure you used to it by now. So anyway, I'll see you guys back in about a week. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day or night or whatever it is. Peace.